Welcome to the first live broadcast on Let's Talk Black Business. Now, I want to give you guys a bit of an insight before we get started in that I'm actually recording this for the YouTube channel, which obviously is Let's Talk Black Business as well. So you may see me uh, gear my eyes towards the camera versus the computer. So let's give it a shot, but let's talk black business today in a serious note. Actually, I've been working with a local business owner um, as a customer and have had some challenges with some of the quality that I've been getting from his organization, specifically in a personnel capacity. He's kind of fallen into the trap of customer service isn't good for black business, not getting a real good personal touch when I go to his establishment. And so as a result, I've actually left a couple notes for him and said, hey, give me a call when you get a chance. Unfortunately, I left that with some of his staff and I never got a call. So me anticipating that he really didn't want to um, change anything about his business, I ended up taking my business elsewhere. And when I went to pick up my last piece of inventory that I got from him, he was actually there today. So it was a surprise and also it was a great surprise for me because what I was able to do was talk to him. And I said, hey, excuse me, do you have a few minutes? Because I noticed he was busy, but he came and approached me um, in a very conversational tone. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. And I hadn't seen him the last three or four times that I went there. So I asked him politely if he had a few minutes to talk and he did. So I pulled him aside and told him the, some of the challenges that I was having with spending money with his company, specifically with his staff, told him about some of the less than stellar service that I was receiving from them, um, how they were kind of making excuses for some of the things that were going wrong and how they never got me in touch with him when I specifically asked for them to have him reach out to me. So what he ended up telling me, which was very good to my ears, was that there were two particular people who worked for him who I was having challenges with, challenges with. one a little worse than the other one, um, and the one who was kind of really not giving him a direct reflection of what he wanted his business to be like, he had actually fired them since the last time I talked. So it was good to hear that he was making changes in his business. He explained to me and he confided that it wasn't an easy decision, but it was a business decision that he had to make nonetheless. The other personnel that was on his staff, um, he had actually put this person on probation. So he explained to them that their work was less than stellar as well. And as a result, he would have to put them on a probationary period. Now, this entrepreneur has only been in business probably less than six months, but he's starting to get it. All right. He's understanding that his customers drive his profits. And I say that because there was a little change. And when I first met him, when he first opened up his store, I went by, said hello to him. And he was really adamant about the fact that people were coming in trying to tell him, customers that is, were coming in trying to tell him how to run his business. And what I explained to him was, you need to take that as constructive criticism. That's valuable feedback that you can get from your customer without paying for it. So take the feedback that you're getting from them and actually utilize that to make your business better. And so it was good to see that over the past six months or so, he's actually done just that. So I want to give you guys a little insight today to make sure that you don't just support local black owned businesses with your money. But when you have a less than stellar experience, pull the owner aside, let them know, hey, I would like to share with you what happened during the interaction, either with a staff member or with your establishment on the telephone, via email, however the transaction uh, kind of worked out, let them know that there's an opportunity for them to get better. Now, if they decide they don't want to take that opportunity or and even worse, if they get insulted by the fact that you're letting them know that there's some opportunities for them to be more professional, to gain more customers, to actually have you pay more or to keep you as a client, then that's up to them. But it's our duty as black owned businesses that want to help black owned businesses to make sure that we pull the owner aside. Don't go to social media. Okay. Don't write a review on Facebook or Google or Yelp or any of these other platforms, but go to the owner and let them know there's an opportunity for you to get better. And I want to support you, not just with my dollars, but in my knowledge and my perspective as a customer. So I want you guys to really take that to heart. Don't perpetuate the stereotype 
that black business doesn't know how to run black business, that we are unprofessional, that our prices are too high, that we are not going to sustain the business because it's up to us as community members to make sure that we do everything we can to support that black owned business. So again, thank you for being with me today for the first live broadcast on Facebook for the Let's Talk Black Business Facebook page. I will also upload this to the YouTube channel so you can go back and revisit it. But let's make sure that we support our community, not just in our dollars, but in other areas as well, specifically with addressing the ownership directly so that they can make a change that will benefit the entire community. So with that being said, let's continue to talk black business.